Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Void. I'm Player One. And I'm Player Two. And welcome back to the Dark Road. Last time... Uh, people, the, the upperclassmen keep showing up and stealing our friends. But they didn't, they didn't take Erd. She was strong, thankfully. But they're, they were just weird, and I don't like the vibe they're given. There's a ninja for some reason. Yeah. He, he tossed, uh, beasts and chanted rose at us. Almost broke it, mind you. We are very lucky that Erd has good reflexes. And Vala did the stereotypical anime villain thing with the glasses. So I do not trust them in the slightest, and I am very scared for the future. And we've seen, we also see the start of a scene of Xehanort meeting the Master of Masters. And I believe it begins right here. So let's go. Why is he just <laughs> sitting there like that? Whoa! Morning. Morning. One year later. Who are you? Who am I? Let's see. I could introduce myself as Theodore or Jack. But I can't prove that's who I really am. So what's the point? Hey! I saved your life, you know. You what? Oh. I was taking a leisurely stroll, when I spotted you passed out on the ground without any protection. Let me guess. You thought your heart was strong enough to withstand the darkness in there. Is that it? Or did you just take a wrong turn somewhere? Wait, are you a tourist? Well, what about you? Why were you there? Whoa, calm down. Sit, let's talk. Like my theme music, it's just chaos. I love his theme music. Oh uh, yeah, this game also... You know, it, it exists. We'll get to it eventually. I used to be a keyblade wielder, more or less. Really? Never heard of you. Like I said, used to be, more or less. How can I trust you? What? Uh, did he just take it? Yes, I did. Ta-da! See? Trust me now. Even less. Ouch. Well, anywho, I just wanted to warn you that going through these gates exposed is a no-no. Fine. Here, take this. What's this? A fabulous garment. It's a little out of fashion compared to what those armors of yours, but it provides better protection. The armor is a newer style and more suited to combat. These cloaks can withstand way more darkness. If you think you can go through without the armor, you ought to make a switch. Are you trying to sell me this coat? <laughs> no, 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 it's free. I promise. Still don't trust you. Stubborn, huh? How'd you end up here anyway? I'm in the middle of my journey to prepare for the Monk of Mastering exam. You're what? I thought you said you used to be a Keyblade builder. More or less. Right. Well, anyone who's qualified to take the exam needs to travel the outside worlds alone to broaden their horizons. Sounds like work. It's part of the training. Now, here's a here's a thing I saw. I saw that screenshot right there it sounds like war work and training and then 
Under it was a scene from Days. Remember when you take Demix to Olympus? And Phil talks about training? And Demix says, it sounds more like work. Um. Great, more conspiracy theories. Um. Um. There's, there's <sighs> more evidence. I'm terrified. Still. Hey, you asked. So, your trip's not over yet. No. In that case... Maybe <laughs> you can do me a favor. You know, since I gave you that coat. I thought you said it was free. I just need you to take a peek. At what? People's hearts. Huh? Human emotions are complex. For example, what you feel towards someone you love isn't always good or well meaning. It can be f a false kind of light. Which begs the question are these messy feelings that emerge from love still light, or are they darkness? Whoa. Where did that come from? The dark thoughts that doll inside most hearts bubble to the surface when we drag others down. There are those with power and those without. Those who possess it harbor feelings of superiority and judgment. And those who don't, inferiority, inferiority and envy. We could feel the strong desire to strip them of their power. So, who are you? Someone with power or someone without? One of the strong or one of the weak? People shouldn't be categorized in extremes. And even if I was either type, it doesn't mean that I carry those dark intentions. Is that what your experience tells you? This ship is supposed to broaden your horizons, right? That's what I'm asking from you. But that's what I'm asking will help you. In the meantime, I'll be waiting right here for when you get back. Huh? I look forward to hearing about it. And we know where that goes. Oh, boy. Episode 6, what? Uncertain Order. I could not read what Iago was doing there for a moment. You take too far, I'll take Iago. Sands of time. Reveal to me the one who can enter the cave. Three. Even better. My diamonds in the rough. Sheesh, I hope you're right this time. <laughs> if they fail, oh well. They are merely a secondary plan. Ah! Yeah. Hey, it's me, your skin. Some oh, yeah? Cleansers get us clean, but take my mm -hmm. moisture. Yeah. Cerebi. Clear skin. I wonder if the others are here. I don't know, but I do know this is the only world Master Odin primed for us that we haven't searched yet. What do you think, Erd? Erd? Uh, oh, um, sorry. Did you say something? Is everything okay? Um, yeah. What was the question? Do you think Ericus and Brig are here? You're the one who said we should go find said them. Said we should go find them. We've been all distracted since we left the castle. What's wrong? No, he tainted her. You can tell. Well, the thing is, I ran into Vala and Vali. Uh, oh. That's Ninja Man. If you don't want to talk about it, it's fine, Eric. No, 
I do. If anything, I should have told you sooner. Vala was... Oh, how dreadful. Hold that dot. Ah, I suppose I must venture into the cave myself. Don't do it, Jafar! It's too dangerous! You'll never make it out alive! A sacrifice I am willing to make. Look at the state of our dear kingdom. The hunger, the children forced to steal food. I can't bear to watch them suffer any longer. If only I had the lamp, I could restore peace to our beloved home. But you're the royal vizier. Without you, who's gonna advise the king? Abba's future will be nothing but pain and darkness. You may be right, but... Did somebody say darkness? This is a very good act. Yeah, excuse me. Why, you must be travelers. Welcome to Agrabah. Regretfully, we are unable to provide you with the hospitality you so deserve. That's okay. Actually, you overheard your conversation wanted to know if you needed any help. Oh, how embarrassing. We could never accept such a kind offer. But if you insist... <laughs> Fetch me the lamp from inside the Cave of Wonders. With it, I can save this kingdom. It's the only way. Why not send your soldiers? Xanor? Yeah. You must have other options. I've been handling him the same thing, but he won't listen. Jafar thinks he's gonna do it, put up himself in danger to open the Sultan's eyes. Words. I have a bad time with them. In that case, maybe you should be the one. Unfortunately, Unfortunately the gods of Abra and I have faced the dangers of the cave many times with no success. We are battered and exhausted. Another attempt may well be the end of me. We. What? Xehanort? Oh, I am truly grateful. How can I ever thank you? <laughs> he feels the darkness. He's living in his hand, he feels it. Are you sure about this, Xehanort? Sure enough. Disturbs my slumber. I'm Hermod. Erd. Say what? Did you just call yourself Admiral? <laughs> Proceed, but please do not touch anything. I don't want your disease. could be down here. Well, no matter. What we find, let's remember not to touch anything. Not that any of us would be stupid enough to do that. Well, one of us might be. You definitely might. But don't worry. Broggy's there to make sure Arrakis doesn't get into trouble. <laughs> uh, that's your father. I don't trust him. Keep your guard up. We might be in for a surprise. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because even if this is some sort of hoax, it's still a chance to search parts of this world we otherwise couldn't. That's true. You're right. Well then let's keep an eye out for Ericus and Braggy. And anything unusual. Carpet. That's a carpet, right? It certainly is. Yep, walking like a person. 
Let's pretend we didn't see anything. <laughs> Poor carpet. And I thought Wonderland was strange. Oh! Eurekus! Everqueez. That's Eurekus, right? It certainly is. Yep. Walking like a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend we... Never mind. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Good bit. Good <laughs> bit. I like that. The treasure is forbidden. T touch nothing. What was that? Ooh, a little... It sounded like a warning. But first things first. We need to deal with these heartless. Ooh, they have monocles that look at the gems. That's a pretty cool design. So there's treasure. Yeah, up ahead. Then we'd better hurry. Oh, you fools. Stop it. Stop it. Halt, you curse. You absolute cat. Hey, Xehanort! Xehanort! What are you doing? Uh, me? Oh, I, I was, uh... Aren't you supposed to be looking for four? Oh, we are. We just, we were just asked to fetch a lamp. You know, to save Agrabah. So are we. Xehanort, maybe you were right about your father. <laughs> It's time to break up with your basic cleansing mm. and get with mm. the Hydro Boost Hy mm. Face wash. Mm. Mm. Mm, delicious. The world is in trouble. That much is true. But I sense darkness inside your farm. And he's desperate to get his hands on the lamp. Darkness, so he tricked us. All I know is that when he took my hand, I felt his greed. He covets power, and will stop at nothing to obtain it. Even overthrow the Sultan? I guess we're done here, then. Wait. Let's keep searching for the lamp. No. Why? You don't owe that guy anything. Not for him. I think the lamp is essential for maintaining this world's order. Really? Why is that? Well, let me start from the beginning. So you're saying the upperclassmen are after the lamp? She said way more than that! Let me get this straight. For whatever reason, the upperclassmen are trying to steal what's essential to each world's order. Erd thinks that this lamp Jafar is after is it, and that the upperclassmen may come to take it for themselves. Got it. That's what we're saying. Let's keep looking for the lamp. And we'll deal with whatever happens then, uh, when or if it happens. Improvising, I like it. I might, I must be rubbing off on you. I sure hope not. Anyone else feel like they're on a four-year timer? Hmm. Hmm. I remember this boy and that boy. Hmm. They're not going to let us through without a fight. I liked these guys, they were fun. And bouncing all over the place. It should be up ahead. Let's go. And here we are. There it is. I don't think we're gonna see Genio. This is it. 
Oh, here we go again. Well, well. So the lamp is essential. I see you talked to Vala. Then you know why I'm here. Just don't move out the way, stop him! Why are you doing this? More importantly, where's Vor? Right here. <laughs> Vor, you're okay! Let's go home. No, I'm gonna stay and help the door. You can't be serious. Do you know what they're doing? They're stealing items that are vital to maintaining each world's order. Who knows what they'll do to the worlds? It's not right. Yes, taking the items upsets the balance of the worlds. But what we're hoping to find is true light that shines even in the face of confusion and uncertainty. So you're using the worlds for your plan. I'm willing to do anything if it's a means to defeating darkness. Wouldn't you, Ericus? Dang. Well, I... I agree that we need to banish the darkness. But what cost? We defeated countless dark entities in the old-fashioned way. Why go this far? In order to defeat true darkness, we need to gather seven lights. We need to replace the lights that we've lost. A task with which we have war's help. I don't have a clue about true darkness and how much of a threat it is, but sending a troll to order is something is the worst thing you can do. Don't upset the order, huh? That's what we were taught to. Oh, what the heck? Okay, are we gonna get tragic backstory now? What do you think? Tragic backstory? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is how Baldur's sister dies. Oh. Oh, no. Are you sure? Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh. Ooh! Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, let's, oh. let's see here. Um... Okay, so we got them three. We've got Lion Man. We got uh, uh, what does he look like? I don't know. We got a pretty princess. I'm that's just, that's, that's Baldur's sister. Baldur's sister. The bright white, and then Strelitzia, who's like I, a little chubby. No, I think that's just her dress. Yeah, I don't know because her it, face. It kinda... looks it looks kind of like a really fluffy kimono. Yeah. These guys look cool. Too bad they're all dead, and we won't see them in proper graphics. Oof. To prepare for the Mark of Mastery exam, you will travel to the worlds beyond to broaden your horizons. There, you will observe all manner of order. Some you may not comprehend, but you must still respect. You must not disturb the balance. Even if it's rooted in darkness? Yes. You do not yet possess the ability to distinguish between light and shadow. But we've already learned so much. Yet more than enough to go and knock some sense in anyone who thinks they know better. Don't be rash. We must proceed carefully. Even if being careful costs us time we don't have. Oh. Ninja. I don't think we'll need to worry about anything. I believe in the light in people's hearts. Ah, uh, she was you, the first one to you die. You died oh. first, yeah. We were so focused on what we were taught that we lost sight of what was important. What was that? Our friends, the ones of light that were supposed to fight with us. They're gone, and they're never coming back. And to make sure their efforts weren't in vain, we need to defeat darkness at any cost. That's that darkness, Ericus. We want the same thing. 
So I ask of you, take this and find light that's strong enough to accomplish our shared goal. No more! No! <sighs> Too bad none of them have the power of awakening, so we can just go find them. Yeah. I want to vanish the darkness. I want you to do anything. Never kiss you. Huh? Hmm? At least, I thought I was. Okay. Thinking of what it might cost scares me. Maybe I'm not prepared for this life after all. Well, for this after all. It's okay, Ericus. None of us have the knowledge or experience to decide. When you do eventually become a keyboard master, you may find yourself having to make this very same decision. And maybe then, you'll know what to do. Xehanort's right. This is too much for any of us. Xehanort, guys, thank you. He eats the lamp. We're in way over our heads. Let's go talk to Master Odin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, but what about Jafar? He's waiting for us. So, who cares? Yeah, it's best we steer clear of him. Good on ya. That's it. <laughs> oh, Genie? Oh, no, just end of the world. <laughs> Man, these worlds are really weird, huh, since they don't have the main characters. Jafar can go eat it. No Belle, no Aladdin, no Alice. It just feels very weird. Oh, and this is... Yeah, this is the scene from Remind. One year later. Alright, How'd gang, it go? we're just getting your gang positions. How'd it go? The tour. So? Yeah. It wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya! So, how'd it go? The tour. I learned the reason for my existence. Oh? Tell me more. All around the world, people live seemingly peaceful lives. They believe themselves to be moral and virtuous, but it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. Sounds like you're a trip around the world in your eyes. We got a little bit more than you anticipated. Let's see a lot of darkness. Those who are weak and who desire greater power simply strip the strong of their power and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. They repeat this cycle, and their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their acting to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide? No. It's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. They are but sheep pretending to be wolves. Though I admit, I can understand why. Oh, never heard that one before. The Keyblade Wielder willing to side with darkness? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? Because left alone, the world would fall to chaos. There needs to be order. You sure about that? Why don't you sit back and watch play out? Like me! Understanding hearts is difficult, 
more so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. Alright, alright. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light distract the future might be pretty lousy. So, you can make a change with the power that you have. What do you want for the world? Power, eh? Who knows? My training's coming to an end, and the exam's not far off. Maybe I can gain some clarity then. You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me, the results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. It's funny. Somehow I can sense where I'm supposed to go, and what I'm supposed to do. Yes, even this coat, there's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. Mm -hmm. No, you'll ditch it soon. What do you mean? I mean that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old cult to stay safe. Coat, not cult. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me, on the other hand, I'm too much of a scary cat to ever, to ever take mine off. Who are you, really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am, when I'm actually a brilliant artist or even a scholar. I can tell you that I dream of the world peace when, I, when I'm actually priding for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, your name? What did I just... Never mind, I guess it's not hard. Okay, alright. My name is... I'm the Lost Master. Lost? Master. No. May your heart be your guiding key. No. No. Okay, I'm calling it right now. There better be a flashback to the scene where it doesn't blank out the name. I swear. Because this is the second time we've seen this scene and the second time we've been debated. <laughs> what is his name? Tell me his name. I find it funny that you're getting so worked up over a dude's name. Because I swear it's going to be Demi or some shit, and we'll know who he is. I'm just having a fun time just watching you. I'm freaking this, out. This is, this is quite entertaining for me. We have two more episodes. We're going to have big revelations. And I hope you all come back when we find out said revelations. I've been player one. And I've been player two. And see you when you come back to the void. <laughs>